Overcoming many hardships, Ike and company finally arrive in the Dayan capital of Nevassa. However, much to their dismay, King Ashnard is nowhere to be found. According to intelligence reports, the king is in Crimea's capital of Melior, preparing to wage war against Galia. In addition, at least half of the Dayan army, including its most elite forces, remain unharmed and at his side. The Crimean army is again forced to march. This time, however, the battlefield will be their own homeland. Eagerly awaiting their arrival is a Dayan army more powerful than anything they have faced so far. This fact, coupled with Nasir's act of betrayal, has filled Ike with apprehension and disappointment. DISAPPOINTED! I was just thinking that. Yet, it is then, when all hope seems faint, that unexpected good news arrives. Unexpected. Hey, who, hey, oh, everybody! I'm Nick. I'm Sean. And <laughs> welcome back to Fire on Path of Radiance. Uh, last time we had charged the uh, Dan capital. capital, and there was no Ashnard. So now we're like, shit. Wah, wah. General Ike, reinforcements have arrived from Benyard. Reinforcements? I haven't heard anything about this. Have you, Princess Olencia? No, not a word. Are you sure they're Benyon troops? Yes, sir. They fly Benyon's insignia. There can be no doubt of their authenticity. And the man in command is one of Benyon's most beloved heroes, General Zelgius. There's no mistaking him, sir. Allow me to meet with him first. I beg your pardon. Are you General Ike? I am, and you are? I am Zeldris, E. Earl of Kadol. I've been dispatched from Benyon with a battalion to support your army. Your assistance is much appreciated, but this is very unexpected. I understand your surprise. For Benyon's Imperial Senate, this decision was made with unusual haste. I imagine so. It took forever just to get the soldiers I have now. Well, there's a reason behind this expedited decision. Duke Persis has returned home. Do you mean Sephirin? Correct. Duke Persis is also senior statesman of the Imperial Senate. The Duke returned from his travels and began working immediately to settle pressing affairs of state. First, he met with the Apostle, and they exchanged reports on both foreign and domestic Hold matters. On. Don't press the button. So, uh, dictionary-wise, what an apostle is is somewhat of a high, like, holy power. Mm -hmm. I feel like it should be capitalized there. That's yeah, because it's I'm a saying. title. Exactly, all I'm saying. Anyway, sorry, that just bothered me. Slight problem? Yeah. Oh, have we been seeing apostle capitalized? Not really. All right, well, I guess I'm a grammar Nazi. <laughs> Go then on. they discussed Benyon's position <laughs> in relation to the current conflict and possible courses of action. In less than half a day, they brought the entire Imperial Senate into line and sent us here to you. So, you're saying that Benyon has allied itself with Crimea, is that it? That's it exactly. I'm at your service, General Ike. Knowing spoiler stuff, this is weird. I don't believe that. I don't believe a word he's saying. <laughs> anyway. Oh, um, wow. Thank you. Now then, please tell me what you would have my men do. I'm ordered to help in any way possible. Um, you caught me off guard. I can't think of anything right now. In that case, do I have permission to make camp around the palace and rest my troops? Yes, please do. That's no problem. Thank you. Please not hesitate to call if you have need of us. We are at your disposal. Anyway, don't watch the opening cutscene for Radiant Dawn. <laughs> Thank you on reinforcements. That was unexpected, wasn't it? It certainly was. It seems the Apostle and Sephirin had did the impossible by getting them to us. All for our little <clears throat> army. It's hard to believe they would go to all this trouble. First we take Dayan's capital, and now this. Things are looking up. You're right. Even if we don't receive help from Galia, we still may be able to defend defeat Ashnard. That's true. It's like a dream. I have to disagree. Oh look, Soren is upset again. Who knew? What is it this time? <laughs> if the Crimean army is not the crux of Dane's defeat, this war means nothing. What does that have to do with the arrival of these reinforcements? 
The battalion that just arrived is greater in numbers than the one we originally received. Not only that, but all these soldiers are marching under Benyon's name. So? So, if these reinforcements are responsible for defeating King Dane, what do you think will happen? That achievement, the very victory itself, will belong to the Benyon Empire, not to Crimea. If that happens, Crimea will be rebuilt however Benyon sees fit, and Princess Alencia will be a mere figurehead. And then, the deeds of an unknown mercenary company will be expertly covered up. We'll receive a paltry sum of money and be swept under a rug somewhere. Mark my words. Soren, you're being so rude. Surely Apostle, of all people, would never do such a thing. <coughs> Fuck you, Senate. Come. I was going to say, it's not Sonic Youth's decision, but, uh... <clears throat> and this General Zelgius seems sincere enough to me. Come, Soren. I have heard of situations like that which you describe, but whether this is such a case... We've been fortunate to receive this goodwill. Must we always search for such ulterior motives? Yes, we must. Have you forgotten, Nasir? It's that sort of naive attitude that allowed him to remain undetected for so long. You people don't seem to get it. We are at war. All doubts, no matter how small, must be extinguished. War is hell. <laughs> yup. Basically what Soren is saying. <laughs> Thank you, Jim Carrey. <laughs> war is hell. Thank you, my voice can't do that right now. <laughs> if they aren't, we could well be ignoring something that could, will lead to our defeat or to our death. Let's take Soren's comments under consideration and discuss this at length. We meet in one hour. And it's time for battle report. Hey. We have earned no money. Taranio. Happy Soren. It's time for base. Soft. <clears throat> hey, Ike. Uh, General Ike, wait up. Say, there's an enemy in the way, but I don't want to kill him. What do you think I should do? Oh, God, I remember this. It's about that stupid game again. Oh, right, we've already heard about it. Okay. Well, it's all <laughs> your fault. You had to go and tutor Daniel, and now I've been on this losing streak. <laughs> Tutor? You mean back when we were on board the ship? It was just one hint. Daniel isn't like me. He's smart. I'm the one who thought up this game, but he's the one who's getting better and better. I hardly ever win anymore. Instead of playing that game, why don't you try some real combat? Ha! Ah. Stop joking him around. We're happy go lucky traveling merchants. We don't know anything about fighting. <coughs> Heroes. <coughs> yep. Lol. Ooh. Give me a break. It's nice you're having fun and all, but please, can you save your stupid game for someone who's not fighting for their life day in and day out? Well, what do you expect? Everything's war, 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 and there's no place for us. You're selling us tough. All we can do is play this game. Sorry, I'll just go lose again. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look, if there's an opponent you don't want to kill, just shove him out of the way. Then you don't have to fight him. Huh? Oh, thanks. Um... <laughs> You know, we are what we are, but we'll be with you till the end. <laughs> I hope we can continue to be of service, alright? Yeah, thanks. Sorry for being so irritable. That's alright. I know how much stress you've been under. <laughs> alright. <laughs> Look at <a> little Sam! <laughs> Something on your mind. Oh, Commander Ike. Oops, I guess I'm supposed to call you General now, huh? Commander's fine. So what's going on? Are you thinking about that person you were looking for? Yes. That's all settled. Actually, really? no. It's oh. not really settled. Okay. It's just, I figured that worrying about it all the time wasn't doing me any good. I turned over every rock in Benyon during my search, but it's just easier to assume that's everything going, that everything's going well somewhere. Well, as long as you're happy, I won't say a word. So what were you thinking about that? I didn't say anything before, but Dan is my homeland. Is that so? Yeah, until a few years back, I lived in the slums of Nevassa and stole for a living. So anyway, I went back to my old stomping grounds and saw some friends. The rest of the city's empty, but they're still here. They've got no other place to go, you know. And what did they have to say? Everyone was mad that Crimea had won. 
They said if the king had been there, there's no way they would have been defeated. Honestly, though? <laughs> it's so weird. Until now, all they've ever done was complain about this place. I see. You know, Ashnard wasn't such a bad king. At least as, as far as we could see. If you were strong enough, you could rise up and become a knight one day. You could escape the filthy slums. He was the only king who ever gave us that chance. That hope. Hmm. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind fighting with all of you. Still, seeing your homeland scarred and trampled like this is tough. I'm sorry. I know Crimea is suffering in the same way, but I can't change how I feel. I now have to ask. Wrong. What? Now that we have hindsight, where would they write in Micaiah if we were ever to have a remake of this game? Uh, of both of the games, or just the one you mean? If you're going to remake one, you should probably end up doing both. Yeah. But now that we have the hindsight of Micaiah is now a thing, where would we write her to be like, oh, have her hint at being somewhere? Well, I think they That's always... That's what I'm trying I to say. I think they always had the idea that Micaiah was going to be a thing when they wrote this game. I'm pretty sure when they wrote this game, they knew they were going to do a sequel. Yeah, uh, that, I, that I'm aware of. But I'm just thinking, like, now that we have more information of who... Who Micaiah actually is. We would have seen a little, like, kind of like a, you visit a house and there she is. Like, oh, here you go, have this item, bye. And you're like, wait, hold on. Because <laughs> Faye also does that in and, FE7. Yes. And there's other games that have done that too. <sighs> anyway. And now it is time for outfitting. Uh, but, 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 you uh, just did the uh, well, new support. We didn't even check. I'm pretty sure we've gotten most of them at this point. Actually. Wow, actually, no one can support right now. All right, never mind. Let's do it. Let's do your thing. Okay. So, here's the earth. Round. Round. Ike only got a point of HP from bonus experience. No, he didn't. He also got two resistance because of that talisman you're about to use. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But that's not bonus experience. That's a stat booster. That's a bonus ducks right there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bonus ducks! And we forged the current login! <laughs> Yours is the drill that will pierce the heavens. Exactly. That was my reasoning. <laughs> Otherwise, not a whole... Oh yeah, uh, Mist has a physic now. Again. Yes. Yeah, because we have... But we have two staffs... We have two physic users. Yeah. yeah. That is the most important thing. Also, Mia's brave sorting now. Yay! Could you imagine brave sword Astra? Just... <laughs> Like, Rip up. brave sword. You're like, hold up, hold up. I can't do that math real quick. But anything more importantly, the occult scroll went to Kieran, so he has soul now too. We have double our soul Christmas users. calves are going to be very healthy. We have double soul props, and we also decided to give counter over to Boyd. Small health. So that means he has a twenty percent chance. I to the same smack health someone. As him. I just realized they both have fifty. Yup. That's crazy. But that's all we really did in terms of management. Anywho, uh, are we ready to move out? Let's get the heck out of here. I'm ready to, to talk voices. So, you're going to lead a small unit out on a survey mission. Yes, that's the plan. However, though we've taken the castle, there are still pockets of day and resistance. It's possible they may try to mount an attack and retake the palace. I want you to be in charge of the watch. That is, of course, not a problem. However, you're taking the princess along. Don't you think it would be safer to take more troops? Even if we split our battalion, we have a, enough men to handle both tasks. I'm just not used to moving around with such a large group. And for this mission, I'd like to keep the number of people involved as low as possible. It's not that I don't understand how you feel, but we will compromise. You know, for someone from Begnon, you're pretty flexible. You can speed things up considerably. To be a soldier, one must be able to quickly adapt to circumstances around him. No point. All right, we'll be back later. Take care. Hey, what's what that a, sword you got there? What a nice, friendly conversation the two of them had. <laughs> this is the place Nasir mentioned. Kalmeni Temple. I hope whatever he was trying to tell me will become clear once we get inside and look around. I still can't believe Nasir was on day inside. I just can't. He wasn't. And he let that dragon girl get away. Although I'm sure he had his reasons for that as well. I wonder, was it really Nasir? Although besides my family, 
The only people I showed the medallion to were Titania, Princess Alencia, and Nasir. Uh, I thought I could trust him. I really did. Why? Why did he do it? Missed. Thinking about the past isn't going to help. Let's take a look at this temple. What did you say? The Crimean army is here? They want to investigate the temple. What should I tell them? Crud! This ain't good! Crud! I don't know what they're after, but if they find us mercenaries who sided with Dayan, they'll wipe us out! It is all the will of the goddess. Resign yourself to your fate. Accept it. Bat dung! No one is gonna roll over and die. Dying's for sissies! Dying's for so sissies. tell me, how many are there? I love him! There appears to be terrors, including the women. <laughs> that's good news! It is? If that's the lot of them, we can take care of this on our own. It'll be like stealing a baby from the cradle. Right then, here's the plan. Pretend like you want to help them, and lead them inside. And listen good. You better not whisper a word about us being here, or else... No, I think it's a... Like the... Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't. What you ask is beyond me. <laughs> I love him. Don't forget, we've got all we're, we've got all the other priests under our control. Unless you want him to meet the goddess early, do as you're told. Hint, hint. Oh dear. Hint, hint. That's bon that's bonus experience. Don't kill the priests. I see chests. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot. Six hundred. Six on six total. That's what I think I see. All right, we'd like to take a look around. Please show us each room. Oh, very well. This is a very large room. Um, are you all right? Why are you shaking like that? Oh, goddess, please forgive me. It's a trap. <laughs> you little yeah. happy animation. <laughs> you did it. Please forgive me. I thought something like this might happen. I don't know how you got wind of us, but showing up in such a small group means you're out of luck. None of you are getting out of here alive. We just fought our way to the Dane capital. You're not even going to slow us down. Cocky, ain't ya? But who said this was going to be a fair fight? Uh -huh. well, what are you doing? Hey, bring out the others. Oh my god. You fools are gonna be our shields. What? <laughs> See? You ain't so useless after all. You filthy dogs. Those are innocent people. You can't. Oh, mercy. Please help me. Hey, if you don't want them purdy robes of yours to turn red, you'll attack these scum. If you ever think about betraying us, I'll kill every one of you. But you can't. Crimeans, please forgive us. We cannot allow our brothers to die. It's a lot of healers. Yup. This cowardice will not stand. These priests are being made to fight against their will. We've got to try and save as many of them as possible. Let's go. So. Now that conversation makes sense. The, um, what we have with George. Yup. Shove the priests out of the way. Because <laughs> they have... Low con, and you can shove enemies. Ooh, another bolting? Damn. Yeah, we have to get to him first. Because in the speedrun, this is part of why you do... Uh, March out. Yes. Yeah, no. You so just, she can just dart around just everybody. Just lol, kill boss. Because I think that's just a kill boss map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, a chest, chest key from the guy on that the left. sword master. Oh, and there's a thief here. Fuck you. Hey, I mean, that kind of makes it easier. Ooh. He drops a killer bow. Yeah, nice. Hey, although he is terrifying because he has. There's a bunch of venom weapons. Yeah. That's unfortunate. They do have a low hit rate. Oh, another chest key. Silent staff. That's from this warrior. So you need an extra chest key on both sides. Well, guess who I'm deploying? Bulk. Yes. All right. We have um, the extra money. I will say, the thief on the left side, if he opens a chest, you shouldn't need to send Volk on the left. 
Yeah, that was my plan. I was gonna send him to the right. Um, hold up though, do we have just a chest key in inventory? I believe we're out of them. Okay, thought I'd ask. We'll check in a second. Anyway, we have we got a whole there's, bunch of bullshit. There's to do. no armored and no cavalry in it, so we don't need like long sword, pole axes, shenanigans. No, we already removed the effective yeah. damage stuff. I'm just saying there's nothing here. And we just need to keep them. our healers out of silence range. Oh, it's fine. The healers probably won't get affected. Their res is going to be so high. Although, who was getting silenced before? Yeah, we were getting put to sleep. That was it. Oh, that's right. Oscar kept taking little nappies. <laughs> and that, there was, that was also the point. Oh, by the way, I made a clip out of that moment when we were explaining when Ike is asleep and he was taking no damage. <laughs> oh, that's right. Can you just imagine fucking... Just like you're playing D&D. Alright, my enemy's asleep. I'm gonna roll to attack him. You rolled a one. Excuse me, you deal zero damage and you don't even wake him up yet. Somehow. But you stabbed him. The knife went into him, it just did nothing. Hmm. Soren! Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Ugh. I know, it's like things are tough. I think I might... No, I want the... We need ranged attacks. We yeah. need to, be able to shoot over priests. I think I might bench Riss, honestly. Up to you. Deploy Soren. Oh, got it. Bare minimum, he needs to be deployed. Well, check If we need range, well, although Mia has... I don't want to burn the wind sword here. Yeah. Check to see if we have a chest key. So I want at least two healers. Check, for to, this. check to see if we have a chest key. Alright, item. It won't kill us. Let me check convoy. There. Oh, is that a fourth key? The coins. We have chest one key. used cool. chest key. Cool. We don't need both then. You can send someone with a chest key on the right. Okay. Because both the enemies drop a two used chest key. Alright. I think I'll give it to. One of the flyers. And we just need that thief to open at least one chest before he dies. Because <laughs> they do drop it, because Fire Emblem logic. Alright, let's go back to choose. Let's take Volk off Did and bring him? Mia back. Sure. I want to know that. And then we need to reposition everybody. Aside, aside from Ike, she actually would be really good at killing the boss just because... Of Yo, her we just gave her a brain sword! I was going to say because of her... Uh, her critting the boss will probably be better than the boss critting her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just defeat boss. I wonder what's in these chests. You know what? I think I'm weirdly okay with the positioning of my squad here. Squad up. Actually, no. Mia can go over there. Eh, Miss can be here. And then we're gonna save this up. And then I think we're just gonna. I'm gonna make a cut here, and then we'll get to the fight next time, I think. Okay. So on today's episode of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, these, uh, priests are being, uh... Held hostage! Yes, basically. Yeah. And we need to do something about that, and we got a small squad to do it. We got our hitmen. The shovemen. Yeah! Push. 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 When push comes to shove. And so with that, I'm a Nick. Awesome. I'll see you guys next time.